Google has just dropped a bombshell on us with the release of Gemini 1.5, the latest prodigy in their family of Gemini models. And they're already showing off the goods that can beat OpenAI's latest ChatGPT4, and here's why. To simplify, a GPT's processing power is measured in tokens, with one token having the ability to process one unit or one request at a time. GPT-4 can process up to 128,000 tokens at a time, but with the newest Gemini 1.5, it's rated to process a staggering 1 million tokens. And for context, this means that it can process one hour of video, 11 hours of audio, 30,000 lines of code, and 700,000 words, all in just one go, making the system potentially much faster than ChatGPT4. And they tell us that all of this can be done while maintaining a processing accuracy rate that hovers at the 99 to 100% mark. But what they're most proud of is that Gemini can elevate the multimodal technology as opposed to basic large language models we have right now from deep content analysis to solving complex coding challenges. So where does this titan of technology fit into the grand scheme of things? And more importantly, what can it do that's got everybody sitting up and taking notes? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out here today. By the end of this video, you'll be as astonished as we were how good this model really is. Now, for those of you who have been following the evolution of AI, you're probably familiar with Google Gemini's lineup. Gemini 1.5, the newest member of Google's AI family, has made an entrance that's nothing short of spectacular. This AI giant has been engineered to tackle an astonishing ray of content. Imagine feeding the model a feature-length film, a day's worth of podcasts, or a series of novels. And not only does it grasp the content, but it also delivers insights with nearly flawless accuracy. We're talking about processing three hours of video, 22 hours of audio, and 7 million words. Or to put it another way, 10 million tokens of information processed in a single request. And the best thing is, it's accuracy that it's virtually unparalleled right now, hovering at the 99 to 100% mark. But how does Gemini 1.5 stack up against its predecessors? Let's break it down. When we look at the Gemini family tree, it's clear that each model has its own domain of expertise. On the one end, we have Gemini Ultra, the heavyweight champion designed for the most complex of tasks. This brainiac can solve the toughest quantum physics problems before it eats breakfast in the morning. Then, in the middle, we have the Gemini Pro series, including our star today, which is Gemini 1.5, along with the older Gemini 1.0. These models are like the workhorses, adept at handling larger and more tedious tasks that require broader context. What sets Gemini 1.5 apart is its unparalleled ability to process and analyze extensive multimedia content. It outperforms the Gemini Pro 1.0 across the board in text, vision, and audio. And it's not just about quantity. And when we compare it to the behemoth that is Gemini Ultra, Gemini 1.5 holds its own, making it a versatile choice for a wide range of applications, from content analysis to creative problem solving. So starting with the video, Gemini 1.5 can analyze the equivalence of three full-length movies back-to-back, -back, extracting and understanding every scene, dialogue, and even subtle details. And this is a huge stride for filmmakers, educators, and content creators. On the audio front, this model listens to and comprehends nearly a day's worth of audio without breaking a sweat. So podcasts, lectures, music, you name it. Gemini 1.5 can decipher the content with astonishing precision. When it comes to text, the sheer volume of 7 million words Gemini 1.5 can process is equivalent to reading and understanding about 70 novels in one go. This capability opens up new frontiers for researchers, scholars, and anyone drowning in the sea of documents. Now, let's bring these numbers to life with some real-world examples. Take the Apollo 11 transcript, a document that is 432 pages long. Gemini 1.5 not only reads it, but also comprehends the intricate details extracting humorous moments with the precisions of a seasoned historian. And it doesn't just stop at text. This model's prowess extends to coding frameworks, like the three JS coding systems. We're talking about analyzing and understanding over 800,000 tokens of complex code 
making it an invaluable tool for developers tackling projects that require coding. In essence, Gemini 1.5's primary ability is not just limited to processing data, but to having a deeper understanding of it. Now, in the race to be the smartest AI, Google claims that Gemini 1.5 is setting new records miles ahead of ChatGPT4, but how exactly are they any different? Well, first up, let's talk about the versatility. Gemini 1.5 is like a multi-talented artist juggling text, images, audio, and video with ease. It's designed to understand and integrate a variety of data types, making it a jack of all trades. ChatGPT4, on the other hand, is a master wordsmith, specializing in generating human-like text based on the prompts that it receives. From writing essays to crafting jokes, ChatGPT4 has a way of words that is really hard to match. But it's not just about processing massive quantities of data, the accuracy with which Gemini 1.5 operates is astounding, maintaining near-perfect precision in its interpretations and responses. So in this head-to-head -head battle, while ChatGPT4 continues to impress with its textual intelligence, Gemini 1.5 emerges as a more versatile and powerful contender, pushing the potential of what AI can achieve across multiple domains. It's clear that we're standing on the brink of a new era of artificial intelligence here. Gemini 1.5 is a testament to this advancement, and honestly, we're not complaining. Gemini 1.5 demonstrated why it's on a league of its own, setting new standards on how it can be applied across various domains, from scientific research to creative endeavors, and everything in between. So let me ask you this, with all of these AI feats, how do you envision these technologies affecting your life? If you enjoyed this video, please comment below. Thanks for watching.